what is the essence of the biblical theology? It's this. It's that God, while remaining immutable and impassable, has reached out personally to his covenant people in order to bring them to consummate fellowship with himself. And the mechanism by which that outreach occurs is the covenant of works. The fall, we've passed through, we've moved from the patriarchs through the theocracy, and we're now looking at the prophets. And what is the mode of the communication of prophecy about? It's, listen, and this is so key, it's about God himself personally reaching out in deed and word to his covenant people. And the prophet is the integral human instrument in that process of outreach. Mm -hmm. So, Mm -hmm. so when you think about it and it's almost like with Voss, every chapter, you need to remember the whole (laughs) when you, when you come to the chapter. But when you think about this particular chapter, here's the question that's coming into view. Now that God has inaugurated this new age of prophetic revelation where he's intensifying the communion bond with his people, right? He's doing so by working and speaking deeds and words that reveal his character and his promises and his purposes to his people. And and the Navi, the, the, the prophet, The emphasis has fallen uh, here on the first paragraph on the top. Emphasis falls on the communication of his message by the prophet. Now, who is his? (laughs) That pronoun's referring to, uh, to whose? Well, it's the communication of the divine message by the prophet that deserves all of the attention that we can give it here. And and Voss has a phrase, Camden. The the more I think about this, the more I've just been fascinated by it. Voss has a phrase that will help us express inerrancy in light of an organic conception of inspiration. Yeah. (laughs) It's quite amazing. Right. And he calls it, he calls it their reproductive speech. Now, Camden, I think, I don't want to spend too long on this, Mm -hmm. but I want us to spend some time on it. The question is, what is reproductive speech and how does reproductive speech serve the purpose of God reaching out to his people to bring them into greater fellowship with himself? 